So we talked about observability, that it goes beyond monitoring. We, we, noticed, we, we noted that monitoring only tells us it captures data and it tells us what's happening. But with observability, we are saying we want to know why that is happening and how to fix it. So now, to better understand observability, uh, observability has pillars, categories of it, which are three most of the time. Metrics, logging, and tracing. So with metrics, we want to find, so we want to get aggregated data about an application. Aggregated data, we mean total requests, uh, web requests that came to the application. How many of those requests were successful? How many were unsuccessful? You know, time it took to execute orders on average. You know, what is an average time? Those are the aggregated data we're talking about. Now, when it comes to logging, we are, we are saying, give me detailed information about individual events in an application. If we say, um, a 404 status code was returned for a specific web request. We want to know why did it happen? What caused it? What time? You know, what are all the, uh, the variables that contributed to that particular re uh, return, uh, sorry, uh, um, status code? Then we have tracing, which will produce information, you know, across multiple services. In the microservices architecture, where you have, you know, multiple services calling each other, normally you would want to have to keep track. When you say uh, service A calls service B to produce this particular, uh, you know, uh, request, you want to match that request to the request that was made from service A and normally use a trace ID to, to do that. So what is the purpose of all this? The purpose is not to eliminate failure, but the purpose is to quickly detect failure and to recover from failure. We want to know what is happening into the, in the application, why it's happening, and we want to know, we want to do know how to, you know, fix that in that that event or that error that is that we're experiencing. The benefits of observability. Reduced time to recover from errors. Better alerting about incidents. Accurate investigation of root causes. Operational insights. So operational insights, we know what is happening in our application. We can know when we have some, some issues to, uh, are happening in the application. We know how the application is performing. We have that operational insight. We have a picture of how our application is, is, is performing. Accurate investigation of root causes. We are not looking for a needle in a haystack. We hit the nail on the head because our observability has been built so sharply, so uh, nicely that when an error happens, instantly we know what the cause of that error is without having to do extra testing do write more code, you know, all such things. Better alerting about incidents. We know what is happening. Therefore, we alert people via emails, you know, or whatever means of alerting we have decided to, to implement. And the time it takes to recover from downtime is reduced uh, maximally because now we can accurately investigate uh, root causes quickly, which is what we mentioned previously, that 
We detect errors quickly and we recover from them quickly. Those are the benefits.